regards to some international news, we are now learning that Prime Minister Narendra Modi has held a telephonic conversation with Crown, Crown Prince and Prime Minister of Saudi Arabia, Mohammed bin Salman. The leaders reviewed a number of bilateral, multilateral and global issues. Prime Minister Modi has thanked the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia for his support during evacuation of Indian nationals from Sudan via Jeddah. I'm also joined in by Pallavi Ghosh on the phone line. Pallavi, while uh, there's a lot of credit uh, going to Jeddah for evacuating uh, Indians from Sudan through uh, Operation Kaveri, having said that, the, the timing of this conversation is extremely crucial because remember, uh, Blinken has just visited Saudi Arabia. OPEC Plus has also announced uh, oil output cuts. Uh, where do uh, India and Saudi Arabia relations stand in the current scheme of things? So if you remember, the Prime Minister had gone to uh, Saudi Arabia in 2019. He had also given a special invite to the Crown Prince right. to come to India uh, to also be one of our special guests. And India and Saudi Arabia relationship have been increased, improving over the last few years. And in fact, the Prime Minister has gone on record to say that among his best global friends, certainly has been, uh, a, a, you know, not a fair weather friend, but someone who has been a friend for all times. And especially as you pointed out, during the COVID times, that's one. Second, of course, during the Sudan crisis also, and right in the big, middle of the Karnataka election. So that special word of thanks has gone on. I think uh, diplomatically, politically, economically, that's clearly the messaging which the Prime Minister and the government wants to send out, that we well, it's going to be an interactive equation, one on equal footing between the two countries. That offer of invitation to visit still stands. And for India, Saudi Arabia will always occupy a special position. Absolutely. And, and for India, Saudi Arabia is also a leading energy partner. Because remember, whenever it comes to countries like Saudi Arabia or Russia, India has maintained its non-aligned stance, irrespective of their relationship with the United States. Absolutely. In fact, India has always made the point. I'm just to give a quick comparison of the Russia-Ukraine issue as well. And despite the fact that there was a substantial amount of international pressure on India to take the stand, in favor of, uh, in fact, against Russia, India stood its ground, trying to have a very balanced equation with both the sides. Because for India, it understands that different countries hold different, uh, you know, kind of prospects for India. And in fact, our foreign affairs minister had gone on record to say and justify taking up oil from Russia. So I think the cardinal principle, and that's been the basis of our foreign policy always, non-alignment. In fact, India has been one of the main pillars of the non-aligned movement. You know, the non-aligned movement or NAM may have decimated in that sense, but it continues to hold a very important position as far as the foreign policy issue is concerned, which is that we are not going to take sides. We are going to have a balanced point of view, try to have good, equal relationship with all countries of the world. And that's exactly the messaging, as you rightly pointed out, both recently Saudi Arabia as well. Thank you so much, Pallavi, for putting that story into perspective for us. And with